It's time to export the knowledge. In this video, we're going to be talking about polynomials and what they are exactly and some things that we can actually do. So, what is a polynomial first? Well, you already know uh, two types of polynomials already. You know a linear polynomial, right? You can think of it as uh, y equals mx plus c, right? That's that's the general form. You also know another polynomial. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. These are two types of polynomials. Now, we classify them slightly differently. We call this one, this family, if you will, linear. And we call this family here quadratic. So, we follow the pattern and we just keep adding one to the exponent, we're going to get the next one. A x cubed plus B x squared plus C x plus D. And that's the family of polynomials known as a cubic. And we can keep going on in this kind of pattern. To put it more generally, a polynomial function is something that can be written like this a subscript n times x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus dot 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 continuing down here a1 x plus a0 x0 and we can think of this x to the 0 part as uh, just one and we can just leave it as a zero. Another thing that we need to think about is something called the degree. So the degree of a polynomial, the degree of say p is the highest exponent, right? So for quadratics the degree was two. For linear the degree is one. For cubics, the degree is 3, and if we follow the pattern, we're going to go up by 1. Now, we can't have a degree of 1.5. Why can't we have a degree of 1.5? Because n, in our previous definition, is only whole numbers. Right? That is an important distinction. Now, what are the some of the things that we can actually do with these polynomials? Well, we can add them, so let's, let's add two polynomials. Let's have uh, x squared and x, right? Two polynomials, what's going to happen when I add them? That's it, we've done, all right? We can add them together. What if I had uh, two quadratic uh, expressions? I have x plus 2 and uh, x squared uh, plus 3. What happens when I add them? Well, I can add them and I can collect like terms just like I would normally. So these x squared terms... Oh, Come to x squared, and this 2 and 3 will add to become 5. Right? I can add them, and similarly, I can subtract as just as easily as well. It's just collecting like terms. Now, when we add polynomials or subtract them, it's always the maximum degree between the two. So let's assume f is degree 2 and g is degree 3. When we add them, we're going to have a degree 3 polynomial. We have two quadratics, we're going to add them together, we're going to have a degree 2 polynomial. We have a linear and a quadratic, we're going to have a degree 2. And you can see that uh, with the previous examples that we did. Now we can also times two polynomials together, and we sort of touched on this briefly in quadratics, right? We know how to do this, well we can generalize it, we can keep going. Oh, this is uh, x minus 3, for example. And then we just times 1, right? We know what this is. This is x squared minus 1. And then this is x minus 3. And then I can expand this. And we'll end up with a cubic this time rather than the quadratic. And we can just keep iterating through this process until there's no others. Now in quadratics, we briefly talked about the perfect square. Right? So it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Well, we can build up more identities, right? This is 
you can think of it as a general case a b to the n well I can just find what happens if n equals 3 simple stuff all I have to do is times both sides of this equation by a plus b right so if I do that I will have a plus b cubed equals this thing a squared plus 2ab plus b squared times a plus b and then I can just expand them normally so times the a's first so we'll have a cubed plus 2a squared b plus a b squared and then we'll expand the b have a squared b plus 2 a b squared plus b cubed and we can simplify this all to a cubed plus 3 a squared b plus b a b squared plus b cubed right and we can keep going we can make the to the power of 4 to the power of 5 we can just repeat the process I want to note the order, right? This a, right? Power of 3, power of 2, power of 1, power, power of 0, right? B is going the other way. Power of 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So that's a, a nifty way to remember uh, what terms is what. When we times two polynomials together, the degrees will add. So if we have functions f and g and their degree is 2 and this degree is 1, we add the degrees and the resulting polynomial p will be degree 3, right? We times the two polynomials, the degrees add. Similarly, if we divide, the degrees will subtract. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact me on social media and I will see you in the next video.